I was in the downtown area when it happened. I couldn't get back to the Capitol, so I literally walked up Main Street within five minutes of the time that it occurred, and people were just in, uh, coming from their homes as though they were emerging from bomb shelters. That was Governor Mike Levitt speaking to Fox 13 News exactly 20 years ago today about that tornado that rolled through downtown Salt Lake City. For this 20th anniversary of the tornado, we caught up with Governor Levitt to ask what he remembers about that day. My assistant, who had lived in Texas, looked out the window and said, this is tornado weather. And I said, we don't get tornadoes in Utah. And within 30 minutes, the world blew up. I mean, it was, a, it, it sounded like a, crashing uh, airplanes and or, or roars and it came right through there was just debris flying unbelievable governor mike levitt was in downtown salt lake city when the tornado hit i got in the car and we began to drive but it became evident that we were not going to get back to the state capitol because state street looked like a war zone With trees knocked down everywhere, he trekked to the Capitol on foot, seemingly following the tornado's path of destruction. And went directly toward the Capitol and got within feet of the Capitol. How do we know that? Because it tore all the trees up right to that point. And I went to the Comprehensive Emergency Management Room and opened it because we had a disaster on our hands. Later that afternoon, he says he went to see the hardest hit areas in person. Saw some of the most peculiar things I have ever observed. Along the high avenues, homes would have their roof gone and all of their walls flattened and it would be a concrete pad. And it looked like a big wooden spoon had been taken to stir the entire contents of that home. And yet, standing in the middle of that concrete pad would be a china hutch with all of the china untouched. It was a phenomenon of weather that I had never observed before, and it was sadly uh, an event that took the life of a person. Uh, a phenomenon I don't understand and one I'll never forget. 20 years later and the debris is long gone, but Governor Levitt says the lessons learned that day are as relevant as ever. There are limits to what a state or a, a, a federal or even a local government can do to respond in the early moments of that disaster. And so we're all advised to be prepared. Being prepared as a family as an, and as an individual to manage disasters is where real security comes. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.